stiffer than expected sentence for former L.A. County Sheriff Lee Baca. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Hernandez watched the sentencing. She followed the trial. She's live now outside the federal courthouse in downtown L.A., where Baca spoke to reporters moments after learning his fate. Miriam. That's right. Today, Judge Percy Anderson again set aside the recommendations of federal prosecutors. He said two years was too little, too light. It was a day of public shaming for Mr. Baca, a long time, a long time veteran public servant. If there was any sense of impending doom, the former sheriff showed no sign of it this morning. Well, I have a Zen personality. Three felony convictions for impeding a federal investigation into the county jail. The penalty pronounced by Judge Percy Anderson, three years, one year beyond what prosecutors had recommended. Taking into account Baca's 48 years serving the department, more significantly, Baca's Alzheimer's disease, which would steadily progress in prison. Judge Anderson says he would have given Baca five years, if not for his health. The FBI Assistant Director. Mr. Baca allowed corruption to flourish within his department, and he created an environment of toxic leadership. A chronology of corruption. In this photo obtained by Eyewitness News, a dirty deputy accepting a bribe to smuggle in what was later learned to be an FBI cell phone into the jail. The handoff to a criminal inmate to report abuse. Jail investigators confronting and threatening the FBI lead agent in the probe. You know that your name suspect in a felony complaint? Baca conceded last year in a plea agreement for a six-month sentence that he lied, but withdrew it when Judge Anderson rejected the U.S. Attorney's offer saying it would trivialize the seriousness of the offenses. A mistrial followed. Regrouping, the prosecution presented witnesses who pinned Baca to the conspiracy, action he had blamed on nine subordinates, including under Sheriff Paul Tanaka. Jail reform advocate and former prosecutor, Miriam Krinsky. As the court said, was more than willing to throw underlings under the bus and not step up and take responsibility. Baca today, after sentencing. I will never accept a cell phone in the county jail given to a career criminal. I don't care who puts it in. A position that for nine Baca subordinates has already paved their way to federal prison. Now their boss will follow. The defense says they will appeal, hoping that Mr. Baca can stay out of prison until there is a ruling by a higher court. For now, Mr. Baca is ordered to surrender to a federal prison by July 25th. Reporting from downtown Los Angeles, Miriam Hernandez, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Okay, thank you, Miriam.